Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDLimey and welcome back to Across the Obelisk where I am doing another co-op run with Fatid. Fatid, good evening, how are you doing? I'm not too bad, how are you? I how am you? doing alright, thank you. Yep, put a glass of wine, all ready to go. Let's do this. Yep. I have a glass of... What do I have a glass of? Um, bourbon. A glass of bourbon? Oh, excuse but not me. not an entire glass of bourbon, obviously. Very, very nice, very nice. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be playing Magnus and Reginald. Uh, Fahid is going to be doing Cornelius and Andrin. We are not doing any madness levels, because that would be madness. Uh, okay, yeah, I got a lot of uh, rewards from the last game as well, so I'll claim those. So presumably we are seeing the same items in the shop now. Uh, it feels like two of us always see the same no. ones and we're not. Uh, oh, okay. No. Yeah, it's, uh, and there's some interesting items in the shop. But, uh, yeah, we're not seeing the same items. So does that mean we can both just go for it, basically, then, and buy whatever we like? I guess so. Oh god, I'm playing two characters now. Oh, the stress! I'm too used to only having to worry about one in the last few games. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, so Reginald's got his bandages. Uh, he's got the lowest resistances. Resistances a little bit. Uh, I don't know, we got lots of gold to spend, so we might as well spend it. I also have a lot of gold. If you need any gold. I um, yeah, I got plenty. Like, I got I got a lot from the last one as well, so I mean I mean I have yeah, I have I have a lot. Take that. Let's give Reginald some more resistance. Um, nothing really healing related here, so. Skip that. Uh, card upgrades. Great healing rain. Cheap to upgrade these cards, and then you might as well when you've got a load of shards at the beginning. Just two extra heal. Seems very miserly. But you know what? We can afford it. Let's do it. Also, I'm not too bothered about it. Have you still got your pet that um, shows intense? Yes. yes. Okay, so yeah, we're bothered with I mean, you have to buy them, so I, I bought Flamey and Oculi. But it's independent, oh, so you have to buy yeah. pets. I forgot about pets. I'm only unlock Betty still. That's okay. Uh, Do you need any money? Or are you okay? No, I'm good. Got loads. Thank you. Yeah, unlocking some more pets will be nice. 
I close my door because Teddy Witch is being very loud this evening. I can't hear her, but... Yeah, because I've closed the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. And now I need to... Sorry, I've only looked at Andrew so far. I haven't looked at Cordelius. Yeah, and no, I'm still... Uh, I'm going to... I did. I upgraded basically all of Reginald's cards, and now going through Magnus. Let's do a bit of a. Let's upgrade these in different directions. Oh Jesus! Okay, that's expensive. Can't upgrade that. Upgrading the cheap ones. The, the problem with, with with this being, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know where to go with half the decks sometimes. Right. In, in terms of, um, yeah, like, I don't know, I'm just not very good with the character sometimes, I guess. Um, but obviously I know it makes sense to have Cornelius be a fire mage, I just want to have a, an efficient deck, if that makes sense. Right, yeah. Oh, 10 upgrades. Uh... Achievement unlocked, Mayor. Spend 30 supply on town upgrades. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. I shall be as quick as I can. No worries. You're the one who's staying up and's oh. got to work tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for reminding me that I've got to I've got to work tomorrow. It's very uh, very nice of you to. <laughs> You're welcome to to ruin to, your to, to point that out. Yeah, yeah thanks for that. <laughs> some cards and I should be ready to go. Do I want to get rid of bleed or get rid of burn? I'll go bleed. Um... I guess as you get better and better at doing these runs, you have the luxury of, of the kind of position that I'm in now, I guess, where you can just spend an absolute fortune on right yeah everything can't yeah. be long is okay. there anything else that you need money for in the shop no nope. uh, i don't think so before we proceed to decide whether to buy any cards but i mean i've got some shards if there's anything in particular that I feel oh, overwhelmed by the choice of, of cards to buy. There's just like so many. It's like, uh, yeah. I don't and, know. I, and I think it kind of comes with what, what, once you kind of learn what's what's what, or I think you have to have an idea of what it is that you want to do going in, so you can set up your um, your perks appropriately. Right. Yeah, that's true. You should yeah be thinking about respecking, I guess, which I am not at all thinking about. Um, is there what anything else bags? that I want from the shop? Uh, I guess I'll buy this. Yeah, I just kind of went with general general perks for. Uh, I think you can right click. Me, look, I think you can. Apologies if you can hear me, so I'll be pouring myself a drink. But uh, I think you can see my perks as well if you if you click on mine. Oh uh, yeah, okay. But obviously, with, with kind of being a high. <laughs> I rank uh, I've got especially Andrin has has a lot oh, of perks. Jesus, yes he does. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Alright. They unreaded me for some reason. 
Uh, right. Okay. If, if you will allow me a moment, mm-hmm. um, I just want to have a, a quick look um, to see what. Um, my mind's went blank. What events we have and what characters we can possibly unlock, just to see if there's anybody that we can okay. potentially uh, potentially grab. If there's anyone in particular you're after, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind. Uh, Cornelius would be great if I can get him. Um, all the pets would be great. Um, but I don't otherwise... know. I don't know. I don't know if because normally Cornelius would be at. Can you see the the bridge? I don't know if it's because he's in the party that you can't unlock him. Oh uh, right, okay. Because the, the, it's it's the one on the right called River Bridges. That's how you unlock him. I mean, you've uh, got... Okay, I think I got that quest in my first run through and never actually made it to the the, the wizard yeah. staff one. You've got you've got Thuls at the top. So Thuls is a um, ranger, um, but is, is more focused on things like poison and stuff. Right. Um, and then you've got Ortus at the bottom. I can't remember if you've unlocked Ortus or not. Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, this is a nice easy one though because you, you get that and then you travel up to the swords above Ortus and then to the book or basically up to the camp in the top right yeah so you can kind of do that one okay all right do that way easily. then needed to go faster. Got fan of knives. That's pretty good as an opener. Don't kill everybody before I get a chance to go. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to try this setup for a little while. No, that I've had an absolute fortune. It uh, mm. obviously worked out quite well. Uh, yeah, I can kill him. Mm. Bye, boar. Okay, I picked the right people to shield. Oh. How did he get to? Did you put that burn on yourself? Yeah. So um, he has a, a um, his passive is that he gets too powerful at the start of the turn. Right. But also applies to burn to himself. Okay. So the idea is through combat, he gets more, more um, powerful. Right. As the name implies. Hamstring that seemed pretty good for Aiden last time. How did Aiden find this game then? Did he? Uh, he he enjoyed playing it with us, yeah. Um, I'm not sure he's played it since, but uh, yeah, he definitely enjoyed playing it. So I, th I think we could persuade him again. If another reason, then he, he gets to stay up late. So anything that gets him to stay up late is, is good in his books. Can't blame him. <laughs> I mean, how, how old do you see he is now? 15. 15, yeah. Yeah, I can't blame him. Fishing contest. You arrive at a small lake where some locals are fishing. One of them approaches you. Oh, it's the fishing contest. Right, okay. Um, I'm not going to read these out unless I haven't seen them before. I ignore the contest. Mm. I will cheat and use a special bait, yeah. says Andrin. <laughs> Special bait Andrin used worked perfectly. Caught the biggest fish in the locals, pay you the agreed gold. So, this one is for Grookly, who is the tank berserker guy. So, you remember when you get to the cave in the. 
guy in the green the the green pole. Uh, and there's a guy there, and he's like, "I want some food." No, I don't remember. Anyways, that's what happens. Okay. Oh, oh extreme corruption already. All monsters gain 20 max hit points, all damage plus two. When the hero plays a card, a random enemy gains one thorns. Jesus. I would say yes and go for increase the quality and quantity of card rewards. Oh my god, really? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, this one isn't that bad. It's extreme! How can it be not that bad when it's extreme? Although, although I do play a lot of cards as Andrew. I'm gonna say, like, if we play, like, even four cards a turn, that's four thorns on somebody. Shortest run ever. Hope you get your AOE attack again. Apparently I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> A whole lot of not attacking. And now you're just hiding. Yeah, but you have a lot of, um, you have a lot of sharp on you as well, True. which should help in terms of doing damage. <sighs> okay, well, better play that first then. God, that's, uh, the two fast strikes. Well, I guess I can play everything. Wow. Okay, goodbye. Hmm. Ideally, I want to play a three and a two. Um, we'll go with. Isn't Firestorm? Firestorm's not better. All monsters. Yeah, but I can, that's all I can play though. Uh, this one's also all monsters, and only is only three. Ah, uh, okay. I do this, and then I can still do. So I mean, what's gonna happen? Six burn, three burn, three burn. Have you seen what you've created? I'm sitting here analyzing everything. <laughs> Good. You are learning, my young Padawan. So that I think, because the front one is going to go, the front one's going to go last. So right. we should be good for that one. Hmm. I hope you're happy with what you've created. Okay, what do we want to do here? I guess a heal on Cornelius, probably. On. Oh god, I got seven mana, holy crap. Okay. Uh, I guess we take out the back one. I was, I was gonna say I would try and take out the front one if you can. Uh, shoot. I do, because that one's still go, but it's fine, it's fine. I mean, you're just making more work for yourself, you're the healer. <laughs> I keep myself in a job. Although he's not doing anything, he's just shielding himself, so it's fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> did, with it, did you just say, I've got to keep myself in a job? Goodness. There we go. Finally. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Good call on the uh, the corruption there. Yeah. See, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. No, it was alright. Uh... Bash. 
see, I find with, with these cards sometimes, things like Anthem of Hope, I don't understand enough about courage. Mind, Holy, and Shadow Resistance know, plus 30%. Do you know what I would, do you know what I mean? Like, it's a... Uh, yeah, just just boosts you. It seems like the, the combat's enough. Like combat's kind of all over the place in terms of the, the 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 damage types that you'll find across the different combats. That it it just makes it less of a, a worthwhile yeah option to take. Yeah, I agree. Uh, scry or shield awarding? What do you think? Scry seems to work pretty well for game familiar last time, but um, yeah, so I mean, shield uh, awarding. <laughs> Shield awarding is good in terms of, I mean, obviously in terms of defense, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a hard one to call. I it's said Scry. Yeah, yeah, we've we've got uh, Magnus for the shield, so. A wolf in distress. You arrive at a camp near the river. Here you see a werewolf that was taking a nap, surrounded by a few pigmen with torches and brands on their arms. The pigmen begin to intimidate the poor werewolf and burn him with torches as he tries to escape. At the moment, none of them have noticed that you are there. Will you help the werewolf? Ah, uh, you will? That's very noble of you. Well... <laughs> Is it? You're, you're pro- or, or, or self-interested, maybe. You approach the pigment with your weapons drawn and stand between them and the werewolf. The werewolf sees an opportunity to leave, but before that he tells you his name is Raoul and that his brother runs a stall in the forest and is a murderer. If you happen to meet him, your actions today will not be forgotten. Then the pigment attacks. You call Raoul a murderer? He, his brother is a murderer. He killed that boy next to the, the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. I don't know. You know, all I, all I can think of there, think, thinking of this game, like I, I just kind of wish you had games like um, Slay the Spire or stuff where you could do multiplayer like this you know right there is a multiplayer mod for slay the spire um that i did once with game familiar it works pretty well but not not as good as this because you you are kind of still doing your own thing good god they're almost all dead already i'm interested to see what they do with that that weird pause before you draw any cards yeah what well, strange. I don't know if that's just lag or... Yeah. I mean, uh, you can play both the attacks here and uh, I'll yeah. probably barricade and then defend. So I I would kill... Uh... What are they doing? Front hero, front hero. Front hero, yeah. Sharon as Karen's a good card if you can get to, you know, like the ridiculous levels. That <laughs> if you get like 200 time, odd where, defense, like, yeah. <laughs> where you had like 200 odd defense from, like, That's if you true. can get. It's, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's it's similar to Slow the Spire and all the other stuff where, like, if you get the right combination of items and cards and. Yeah. yeah. The Scared Pigmen, you enter a small chapel near the forest border. It appears to have been recently looted. You hear a noise behind some benches and then a trembling voice says, Oink, are they gone? Oink, Yoga wants to eat me. Where haven't we been here before? This seems familiar. Oink. We have. We've definitely done this before. Well, there's how no harm I, doing it again. How come I didn't unlock him last time then? That's weird. Does only one person unlock him if you do it in a group? No, not everybody gets him. Okay. You said that you don't have him. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't think I, didn't I, think, I, I had him. Think, I think you... Um, no, I, did, I definitely didn't have him. Forward. I definitely didn't have do. him. No. Okay. No, in fact, there is an achievement for you. You'll be able to tell if you have a look at your achievements. Uh, There's one that unlocks the character Otis. Yeah, you don't have him. It's right no. at the top normally. Okay. Yeah, Otis. We've definitely done this before, though. I don't know what. Um, okay, maybe we went the wrong way. Can you way. continue saying oink after every sentence, though? <laughs> no, I refuse. 
Uh, every three turns, recover eight hit points. Uh, what have we got? Uh, healing done plus one. That seems a no-brainer for. Yeah, him. I mean, the only thing I, I'm going to take one of the rings for Andrin, and then nothing for for Cornelius. So okay, um, knock yourself out. Uh, I'll take the health potion then for Magnus. It seems like a pretty good fit as well. So we're going north, we'll yeah. Go up over here. Another obelisk corruption. All monsters gain speed three. Combat start. All heroes suffer too slow. Sure. Yeah, easy. Easy. Uh, money and shards. Money and shards. <laughs> we're still going first. God, wow. You can play everything. Yes, I can. And I don't suppose they're gonna last until the end of the round, so... <laughs> quite enjoy this this build for Andrew. I've had my eye on it for a while, it's just yeah, it's taking the money to actually get it. Right. I'm not quite sure how I feel about Dark Ritual for for the mage character. Have you seen it? Suffer so 21. Good. Yeah. Mm. So, like, like, I mean, I guess, yeah, you gain three energy, but... Yeah, that doesn't seem the best, does it? Uh, I wonder if I should kind of lean into something in particular rather than just randomly picking cards. I mean, in terms of the cards that you've taken, you've taken things like Shield Bash. So uh, and headbutt. So yeah. maybe try and kind of lean into more of the um, oh, you know, what's your perks like though? Because I mean you've taken the blood damage perks as well. So yeah, it, yeah, you, you need to pick something to lean into. Um, uh, it's either going to be stripping those cards out that you've already taken, or, or, or going down the the route of um of, of the slash damage. However, blood what damage I would, you mean? What? No, no. Oh. So, so what I would say is, it's worth considering what I have in my deck because I have camouflage, well, camouflage is for me, sorry, but um, I have things like Chant of Accuracy. Chant of Accuracy gives sharp, so I can apply okay. more sharp to you potentially, but mm. it's, yeah, it, it, it's, more, it's thinking more, are oh, we going to focus on ourselves or, or as a team and Okay. They're both kind of valid strategies. Uh, okay, well, so, yeah, since again, got, gonna... since, yeah, since you got that, I'm, I'm fine doing a bit more sharp, I guess. Sharp and I mean, bleed. It's your, it's, your, it's your call. I don't, like, Blunt's a, Blunt's a good one as well. But, I mean, you've already picked it now, so it's too late. I, having a mix of cards is, I don't know, doesn't yeah, seem I don't, yeah, terrible I mean, either. Cause, cause, you know, yeah, because you're going to come enemies, right? enemies that have sharp resistance. Heal. Bulk heal. Story time. Okay, I've been here before. <laughs> so if you select the bottom option, they turn into wolves and you have to fight them. Okay. So that's good for a higher score because it's more combat and you get the card reward. Right. So it's it maybe worth considering doing that one. Okay. The Cornelius option sends them to sleep, I think. <laughs> and if we tell them we helped someone named Raoul? No idea. 
then we should do that one. They tell you that Raoul is good friends with them and that his brother has a stall near here. They also tell you they've discovered that in the forest deeps the dryads have a large stash. Okay. Hmm. But we want to go up. Corruption again. All monsters gain frost damage plus two, frost resistance plus 20% when hero plays cards suffer two. I would say the rare Chill. equipment shop. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Got you have a fair amount of money, I've got some money. And the the chills are really, it's only gonna, once you get to five stacks, it slows you down, but that's it. Yeah. And and cold, less cold resistance, and I, mean, I think they get a little bit of damage, but it's it's gonna be neg negligible at this level. Okay. God damn. <laughs> I've at least been able to give you some... Uh, some yeah. Uh, I would definitely enrage first. Do I get to... I get to pick it, don't I? No, oh, yeah. In fact, yeah, what I'm saying, you got to pick it. Sorry, I thought you had the random one. So, That's what are they mistake. doing? Sorry. What is the front hero? Back hero. The third, the third one's just buffing. Random hero, yeah. The last, the back one's buffing. The second one, the front two are the ones that are doing the damage. Yeah, okay. So you've got 10, 10 damage from the second character and then random from the... Uh, so let's get rid of intercept. From the front. My opinion on that would be Magnus, probably. If we're going to go to the second turn, you get him to go before the wolf. Uh, Magnus. Less damage done and heal with C plus one, yeah. So he's gonna die from burn at the start of his turn. Okay, yep. And then although in fact no he's not because he's gonna get healed. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. And then he's also being sped up. No never mind, never mind. Probably scry and grin. Scry and grin. And then he can go first, right? Barrier somebody, I guess. Um,
Dodge and Fana Knives again. <laughs> nice. Every single card option that I've had for um for Cornelius has been other. Sorry, I'm just listening to Tilly Witch singing. Now every option I've had has been for different elements. This first. Um, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, are we sharing again, or I do believe just... we are sharing, but I have a spare slot, so I'm going to take this because that's going to drop the cost, presumably for us. Okay. Done. I mean, I have. I think it does because I have the same cost as you, so that's a. A good benefit. I'll probably take the Ring of Protection. Nah, the Ring of Protection, but for Magnus. Round Shield is good for Magnus as well. I mean, you can afford both, I guess. That's a different. Um, yeah. I, I don't think there's a lot else unless. The only other thing I can think of is Butcher's Knife if you want to go down the route of applying a lot of bleed. But that's kind of it, really. Yeah, I don't know, to get rid of the sharp damage, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a... I think it's a thing for further down the line once you've got a... Maybe a better idea of, of exactly where you want to go with things. Uh, the bandages are a bit of an upgrade for Reginald, so... I could... I mean, if you've got the money. I do have the money. So, sure, let's do that. Um, what is the best ring for Magnus? Yeah, probably that one. Uh, would we rather have round That's shield and powerful. gloves? It's either too powerful, which is 10% damage, or more charges. I mean, th the main thing I would look at at this stage, really, is in terms of damage. Too powerful is 10% damage. Right. Which is great if you're going to be do if you're going to be stacking powerful, it's great. It gets you there sooner. But 10% now, mm. if you're doing 20 damage, it's an extra two damage. Yeah. But I mean, I guess you could apply that to shield as well. It's, it's only preventing an extra two damage. Like it's well, except that powerful goes away, right? It decays over time. True. Whereas round shield True. doesn't. But at the same time, block expires at the end of the round. True. But gloves is combat start on it. Yeah, I'm gonna take round shield. Um, and then I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing else that I want from this, I don't think, and can't think of anything. Yeah. Can't think of anything else that's that's worthwhile, really, to be honest. Okay, now we can level up. Use the cost of the ice, cost of some kind of hand. Hmm. Make attacks cheaper? I don't think I've taken that one before. Or the next. That one's nice if you're going to be doing a lot of attacks and it always reduces the cost of the highest cost attack. Yeah, so it makes it more viable for taking the big attacks when they show up. It takes it more, yeah, exactly. It makes it more viable. So, I mean, something now, even though it's not a massive cost, if you, you, basically, you play follow up, then say fast strike, and then rend overall. That will cost you one instead of three mm. energy. Um, uh, uh, and later on, you've got the. I mean, I don't have access to them now, obviously, but you've got the, you've got the big cards. Mm, let's lean in 
into the hailing. Reginald. It's one of those things where, like, it, it, it's the sensible option, but I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about focus heal. Like, it, it doesn't. It's not amazing. It doubles a single heal, and then that's it. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. it's. actually beaten this guy in one turn before as well. You beat him in one turn, really? It's quite, it's quite satisfying. <laughs> What's he doing? Uh, okay. So he, he always summons two, um, two wolves. Right. Maybe I, I mean, no pressure, but I only need to do 121 damage and then and we'll win. <laughs> Go on then. You've set my expectations now. I said you can beat him in one turn. Do we win when he dies or we have to kill everybody? No, we, if, we, if we kill him, it's game over. Game over. Stage, I can put a barrier on somebody. Don't know what anybody's. Uh, yeah, it's more for next turn, I suppose. Let's put it on. Hila. Oh, I've got two of them. Okay, you can have one as well. How are, uh, how are things doing out west in general? Sorry? Is that how are things doing out west? Out west? Are you with the current climate? Not climate, but. You know, the whole COVID situation. In Bermuda? Yes. Uh, we are currently at our highest number of cases ever. Uh, I think right. we're up to like, what are we at? Is it 1,600 cases or something the other day? Uh, 10 in hospital. It's it like, one in ICU. It's, <laughs> Remember there's I only 60,000 people here, so. I don't, I don't like... <laughs> It, it, it makes it like yeah it, it's funny when you look at it because you're like 1600 people i'm like wow <laughs> yeah like obviously there's a lot more work out there do we get healed after this fight or is it worth uh, yes yes we, we do, do yes. okay so I mean, that did, case. Did, did give you an idea in the last yesterday there were 653 people tested positive where I live. By where you live, you mean? Just the, the, how the government defines it. So technically the area that I live in, the class, the word class is Sunderland. Right. Okay. That doesn't seem that many. That must, Sunderland must, that must be a big area, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I get, I just, I've put in my postcode. So, that's just for my postcode. Okay. I mean, we're getting, we're getting better. Did we are only 100,000 people tested positive today. Okay. I didn't realize it was my turn, sorry. That's right. Okay, well, I'll save the MG then. But anyway, I'm, I'm so, sorry for talking about depressing. No, no, no. Uh, uh, COVID, it's like a. <laughs> I 
That was a rather <laughs> underwhelming round. Game seven, I think, again. I mean, you have to remember I'm, I'm a male. It's not like males to exaggerate their abilities, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's never happened before. Hey, uh, bloody cleave is all that's happening. Any damage um, to all heroes. What, what happens if you do headbutt as well? Like, does it just do nothing? Um, oh, sorry. Oh, okay, no, no, sorry. I, I yeah. get what you mean now. I thought you were talking about your attacks. No, them. So, um, yes, yeah, so I can get rid of that. I still, I still think we're in line for a, an excellent performance. I think, uh, I think I think I think Yoga's had it this round. Oh, is he gonna? He's gonna die, right? Is he? He's yeah. gonna die at the, at the start of the next round. Okay. But he, I think he goes first before he's the next person to go after Andrin. So assuming he survives that long, it's game over anyway. So. So heal. I would holy smite if you can. I mean, he can spare it. So holy smite him, and then. Um, no, what am I saying? Sorry, Divine Grace, Holy Smite, and then, and then heal. But it's only really going to be me and. I don't know why I'm saying me and you, Cornelius and uh, Reginald. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to die anyway. It doesn't matter if I smite him. Yeah, or not. I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking. It depends on when I mean, you've got the card there. Yeah. So if I, if I draw, shit. It's it just it maximizes the chances of dying anyway. Right. What kind of wine have you been drinking anyway? Uh red. No. Oh. Red. What is it? What was I drinking? I don't remember. That just makes me think of hot fuzz. Like, I really do love the movie Hot Fuzz. Yeah, I love that and movie. It's a bit where he's like, what kind, of red, white, what kind of wine do you have? And he goes, uh, white or <laughs> red? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> he's like, like, yeah. The look of that I have in my job is obviously I speak to a fair few people and uh, I've spoken to some uh, to some police officers and I've asked them about the paperwork part of it because there's been a lot of comments about the fact that it's quite accurate in how much paperwork you actually have to do. Right. And uh, also the majority of police officers that I've spoken to have not ever jumped through the air, fired a gun, and shouted at <laughs> Receive honorable. Uh, draw, draw one, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Wait, so have we. Absolutely have... zero downside. You should get an achievement for that as well. Have we, have we not unlocked Erdis as well? Or have I not unlocked Erdis? Let me get it after this. Okay. You should absolutely take Yoga's Cleaver here every single time. Options. 
So the gold ring would be an upgrade for Reginald. So I'll ignore the gold ring. Well, uh, hmm. I guess that would be a good call because he's going to go first. And then... It depends if can you see Reginald? No, you can. So I, I've got the numbers in front of me. Um, in terms of resistance, you have 23 fire and holy, you have 13 cold lightning and mind, and three shadow, right? And, and 91 health. So it's a choice between two health or one extra resist, and I will probably go for the health yeah. like realistically what difference is one percent resistance yeah. overall Nothing. like it's, oh, okay there we go that's just unlocked nice nice yeah it's such a negligible yeah difference it's it's, it's just not worthwhile no, i agree uh yeah we don't need I will, to heal I will, I will say i'm excited for the fourth act of this like it's gonna add another because now we can kind of I don't know how to best describe it, but the, you've got the added complexity of extra longevity. Right. If that makes sense. Like now we kind of play it uh, because we know there's only going to be three acts, but we're going to have to continue going so you can't go all in on the, the last fight. True. Fan knives is pretty nice. Uh, they have follow up as well. I do. Worth playing at the end of the turn. Well, I'll do that first, I guess. I was going to say I would enrage first and then. Because uh, I might get it's a discount worth, on something better, right? It's probably worth keeping for something like Rend because that's going to be the higher cost yeah. card. Like. I mean, you can you can play everything in your hand and still carry two over until next round. Who are they attacking front hero? Does, I mean, the front two don't matter because I'm going to be able to do five damage to the front two at least. Okay, and the others are random, so let's random here on then. protect him. So play follow up now or just keep no, it? No, I, I would. I mean. It's, it's your choice. Once it's played, it's played. I mean, what have you got in your... Oh, hang on. The highest cost I mean... in your hand. So that will do nothing now. No, but, but when you play... Oh, when I play the next attack. Hand, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, that's weird, isn't it? I mean, when I, I play I, the I next guess, attack, at that guess, point, it reduces the highest cost attack I guess, by three. I guess, I guess play it now. Yeah, because we might not... I might not get through my deck again, right? Well, he says optimistically. I mean, you are a fire mage, and these are trees, so... Twenty burn. You're welcome. That's absolutely nothing. But this increases damage increases done as well. Damage, so, yeah. Not worth doing on. I mean, like, it's worth doing on yourself, I guess, and then because it's going to be plus three damage done, and then you've got the holy smite afterwards. I, I would say it's worth doing because realistically, what are the chances of this lasting until the next, the end of the next round when you take your turn? Right, but I could put some uh, block and shield on. Yeah, but we heal at the end of this anyway. We do. It's, it's the like end of the act, so that we're almost overall for the entire party. We're missing two health. Okay, all right. For the entire party. Uh, 
So I will play that on yourself and then all these might personally. I would also be interested to see what the if we went back and watched the video of how we performed in the first place or ever compared to now. Mm. Where we just effectively it's much everything. faster, yeah. One hour I get to here. So that's at least 45 minutes faster. Although the first act is pretty quick now. The other acts seem to take a little longer to get through. I mean, I don't mind staying up late, it's only my job. Grant, uh, grant three sharp, repeat up to three times. So with the repeat, it costs you energy. Oh, it does. Oh. So yeah. So, 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 the, so okay. the idea is you have, you can play it for one, and grant three, or play two and grant six, etc. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should just take sever artery. Again, what I would bring that back to is um, follow up. Yeah. If you could play follow up and get do twenty five damage and seventeen bleed for two, yeah, energy, you would absolutely do that. Yeah. Can't At any point, like, yeah, it's, it's just it's a no brainer. Divine Aya deal fifty three damage, six cost. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's worth right-clicking and looking at the upgrade options because you can drop the cost by two, which makes it more realistic. But it drops the damage by a fair amount. Mm. But... Pandemonium's pretty good as well. A bit cheaper. It all comes back to mana and... Well, not mana, energy. And... Yeah, it's... This is the one thing that I hate about these games because my brain's not good enough to calculate all of the options. Yeah. For like, do you know what I mean? Like, the Divine Eye is really good for the amount of damage that it does. Pandemonium also puts but, Vulnerable on, right, as well, so that's just going to help everything else. Yeah. Like the, the main thing that I the main thing that I look at with these cards is if you break down the cost. So Divine Aya does six. It costs six mana, and does fifty three damage. So per mana you're doing about what eight point eight damage. Whereas for five mana, for Pandemonium you're doing twenty damage. So if there's four enemies that's 80 damage overall mm. which gives you 16 damage per mana mm. obviously that there's kind of diminishing returns on that as you lower the amount of enemies um, although you can also drop the cost to four yeah and keep the damage the same so yeah it's... let's take pandemonium maybe a lot of the time i won't play it if i need to do the healing or the the okay. the block but what I want to kind of bring this back to is, this is this is your all like, this is what you've created. I'm sitting here analyzing the cost of cards <laughs> versus the amount of mana that it costs. Yeah, and I'm like, and, yeah, well, whatever. Like, we'll just pick that. Yeah, that one like, feels better.
So Yilma's branch is going to be for Reginald, for sure. Yeah, I mean, the majority of those are healing related. Ilma's branch, Idrisal Root, Shield of Thorns is more for Magnus. Um, yeah, like, I, I feel like there's a lot of items that do combat start, which is good for starting items early on, but it's not really good later on. Mm. And Shield of Thorns is more beneficial once you have. Or if you're going down the route of a Thorns build. Mm. Um, although at the same time, like I guess you're kind of... Obviously you're more likely to play... You're more likely to play defense cards, so... Yeah, I kind of you know, took that in one of our earlier charges. games, yeah. Um... It, it's kind of weighing it up, though, because it's... Yeah, it, it, it's looking at stuff like the the likelihood of you taking damage. You've got a one in four chance, assuming that every card is a random card, and how much defense you actually play compared to attack cards. And I feel like I play a fair it, amount. It, but... it, again, though, it's, it's going to be like how much difference is or damage gonna make that round yeah it's this know. is your this is your area of expertise <laughs> I don't know analysis and I'm this I'm, is this is I'm going with my gut I'm going with my gut we're gonna go we're gonna take the shield of thorns I'm gonna do that alright in, in this sense since we'll have the fish I would say it's worth taking the greenish portal because then you can unlock what's his name? Okay. 